Rogers Show. Starring Roy Rogers, King of the Cowboys, Trigger, his Golden Palomino, and Dale Evans, Queen of the West. With Pat Brady, his comical sidekick, and Roy's wonder dog, Bullet. I'll go get the sheriff. Oh, Pat. But that little whelp just Did she get any money? No, but she almost got away with a sack full of grub. She's a bad one, Dale. Oh, a bad one would have gone to the cash box first. Come on. She's heading for the North Range. Pat, pick up the sheriff and follow me. Pick up the sheriff? Come on in, Dale. Who is he? I don't know. I got here too late to ask. You mean he just... Infected bullet wounds. Must have had a pretty rough time. That poor, frightened little girl. No wonder she was driven to steal. What? Roy, I've got to find her. You wait here for the sheriff. He'll be here soon. Nevada? Where'd you get this paper? I pick it up in Mineral City, Pete. They're still looking for Johnny. You were right in Mineral City and didn't stop and look for that money? Oh, I figured Johnny'd get away with it. She knows we're meeting here. Johnny'd have been here by now. Mount up. They don't know Sam, they won't know us. This is the third day Dale's been combing the hills for that little whelp. But you know Dale, Roy. To her, there's no such thing as a bad child. Well, I think she's right, Pat. That maverick could ride like the wind, fast enough to cross three counties, but now even the sheriff gave up looking for her. The sheriff went to the state capitol to see if he could find anything on the dead stranger in the state crime files. He left me in charge. Dale just wants to make sure the little girl isn't hiding out there in the dark, cold and hungry and frightened. If she isn't back pretty soon, I'll go look for her. Well, you'd better. This thing's getting her down. I'll bet she hasn't slept a wink since that little brat disappeared. I can't figure Dale out. First, she wants me to let the little kid go scot-free. Then she wants me to go after her. Even sends me to fetch the sheriff. I think Dale only followed her to see if she could find anything out about her folks. Shucks, she might have known her folks couldn't have amounted to much, letting the little sneak thief run wild like that. Well, that's just it. Dale figured the little girl was stealing the food because her folks were hungry, maybe even sick. Well, it's about time well, I found the horse she was riding. It was in a gully and its leg was broken. She can't get very far on foot. Roy, maybe Bullet could pick up her trail in the dark. 
Maybe he can, but you won't be there to see it. You have to get some rest. And I have some questions I want to ask that little girl for the sheriff. No, Roy, wait. That child can't be in very good shape. And besides, you wouldn't know how to handle her. It's no use, Dale. I have to find out why her father's on the run. How do you know he was on the run? He could have been cleaning his gun and shot himself accidentally. In the back? Pat, you see that she gets some rest. Well, come on, Pat. Let's get cleaned up around here. Now, Dale, you heard what Roy said. Well, I don't care. I can't rest till I find out what happened to that little girl. At least we could... Dale, it's her. I'm trying to catch up to Roy. No, Pat, wait. This child's burning up with fever. Take her upstairs, and then you go for the doctor. Hurry now. Nothing? Looked under the house. No fresh diggings there. Well, I've been over this place with a fine tooth comb. There's nothing in here. Look at us. Look, Dale. I think those two need checking up on. Shack. Not when I searched it, but I do know those two had no business in there. Well, it might take all day to catch them, and I think it's more important to get back to that little girl with her doll. Well, maybe you're right. Well, what's next, Pete? Wait and watch. Sam's been tied in with that train job, it means the law will come looking for us. Uh -huh. And if they don't? That not mean I haven't got anything on Sam yet or found the loot from that robbery. It'll also mean that Johnny's still on the loose, too. Uh, Johnny's been nabbed, she won't talk. I learned her better than that. Yeah, I guess she would be afraid to squeal, knowing you were still on the loose. Yeah, we'll find a safe place to pitch camp around here. Meantime, if nobody comes looking for us in the next couple of days, we'll know we're still in the clear. And you and me are just gonna be a couple of curious strangers passing through the town of Mineral City. Hmm? There now. Raggedy has a dress exactly like the one I'm making for you. For me? Yes, honey, for you. Don't you remember? Doc Sawyer says you're going to be well enough to be up and around by Sunday. But I ain't got nothing to give you for the dress. You mean you haven't anything to give? But you're mistaken, hon. There isn't anything in this world that you could give me that would thrill me any more than seeing you all dressed up and in the place that you should be, in Sunday school. But I don't want to leave here. I ain't never, I mean, haven't ever been to school. Please don't make me. Johnny, there's nothing to be afraid of. Sunday school's a wonderful place. That's where they teach children to live as God wants them to where they teach them to love and to trust each other and to do unto others as they would have others do unto them. But I know all that. If I saw you swipe something and I didn't snitch on you, then you'd treat me the same way. Ain't that what you mean? No, Johnny, that isn't what I mean. For in the first place, it's wrong to steal. Now take Raggedy, for instance. You know, Roy rode all the way to the line shack with me to get Raggedy for you, but just suppose Roy decided he wanted to keep Raggedy for himself, and he just took her, not caring how it hurt you or how much you'd miss her. I'd kill him. No, hon. Killing's wrong, too. You see, Johnny, decent people have laws. 
to protect them against the bad ones who don't want to keep God's laws. The weak and the selfish who like to lie and cheat and steal and... Look, honey, would it help you to talk to me about it? I'm sorry to upset you, hon. You don't have to talk about it. Just rest. It's all right. You stay here, Bullet. Dale! I've got to talk to Johnny. Now, Roy, you promised you wouldn't. We can't put it off any longer. These just came from the sheriff. Pete Birch. He was the leader of the gang. But this one's for Sam and Joan Birch. The description fits Johnny and her father perfectly. You see, Johnny faked the fall on the baggage car platform and drew off the guards. And the Birch gang moved in and... Hey! This fellow's face is familiar. Why, sitting at that table right over... Johnny! Hold it! Lift your guns real easy and toss them back at the counter. and sit down. This won't take long. Don't ruin it now, Johnny. I flirted with a rope coming after you. You gonna take it easy? Pete, you've got to get out. The law will find you here. The law's looking for you too, kid. Where are your duds? In the closet. But I'm not going with you. I've been sick. I can't ride. You let me worry about that. Now that Sam's gone, you're my kid now. I wouldn't be your kid for all the... Johnny! It's a pretty nice place, isn't it? I like it here, don't you? Don't be a fool, Johnny. They must suspect your old man was on the run. They're only being nice to you because they want you to tell him why. No, that's not true. Dale Evans says I don't have to tell him anything that I don't want to. Well, Miss Dale Evans must be a regular little mother to you, huh? Kind of sounds like you love her too, doesn't it, Johnny? All right. What do you think it'll do to her if she's to find out you're Sam Birch's kid? Pete, you wouldn't tip her off. No, Pete, you couldn't. You told me that squealing was the worst thing I could do. You said that squealing was the last thing you'd ever do to anybody. You, yourself. Pete, please. You coming with me, Johnny? Yes, Pete. I'm coming. Doggone it. Any other time, we'd be swamped with customers. Mister, you better stop wishing somebody comes through that door. You too, lady. I thought you said this wouldn't take long. Sides, or let the kid have it. Drop your gun.
that won't help you, mister. It can't hurt me, sis. If the bed sheets tire up. Johnny, you're not going with him, huh? You crazy lady. This little gal's worth 50,000 bucks to me. This child hasn't got a dime. Maybe she hasn't got a dime, but she knows where there's 50,000 bucks. No, Pete, I don't. You was with Sam. Sam got away with our money. I searched everything when we got here for grub money. There wasn't a cent in that cabin. Then he must have hid it along the way. Wasn't you with him all the time? All but a few minutes in Hangtown one night. That's where he got shot. What happened? I don't know. He said he was going to the express office. The express office is closed at night. I couldn't see where he went. It was dark. All I heard were the shots. You poor kid. When he staggered back, could hardly mount up. I heard a lot of yelling behind him. So I grabbed his reins and skedaddled out of there. You lying little brat. Come on, Brad, Johnny! Stop or I'll shoot. Take that gun out of my back. You don't shoot your own chin. You touch Miss Dale again and you'll see. I was only going to put her out a while. How else do you expect us to get out of here? We'll take our chances. And remember, you taught me how to use a gun. You've learned a lot of things here that he didn't teach you, Johnny. They're not for me, Miss Dale. You don't know who I am. Now put your gun away and back up. Yes, I do, Johnny. I know who you are. And it doesn't make a bit of difference. Hold it, Pete. Don't be a fool, Johnny. The outlaw's kid hasn't got a chance. Why do you think Sam and me turned bad? That's the talk of a weakling, a coward. You know that, Johnny. Yes, Miss Dale. But like Pete says, it's in the blood. It isn't the blood that makes a kid turn bad. But if you walk out of here with Pete, you'll be ruining the rest of your life, honey. She's crazy. There's lots of places we can settle down together. We're only going out of this town together. Now turn around and unlock that door. Johnny, you don't have to go. I'll be holding to you, Miss Dale. Roy, you didn't get here any too soon. Is she all right? Yes, but this was just too much for her. She's still weak. Do your dear sister passed away, and especially for taking little Joan with me. But Johnny was all I had left, or cared for. And Pete promised to love and protect her as his own. I should have known a crook couldn't be trusted, shouldn't I? Yes, it wasn't long before Johnny was cooking and cleaning and scrubbing for the gang. And Pete was filling her little head with hate for all the good, clean, decent things her mother wanted her to live by. You're wondering why I didn't take Johnny and run away long before he decided to use her in the relief train robbery. But I knew Pete was a killer and that I'd have to live long enough to see that Johnny got a clean, safe break. You're a good Christian woman, Maggie. And I know that you and Johnny will learn to love each other. All I hope is that Johnny will forget me in time and that what I'm going to do in hang Tom will tip the scales just a little against all... Stop it. I don't want to hear anymore. But Johnny, you haven't heard what your daddy did in hang Tom. I know. He got shot. Yes, someone saw him at the express office vault. It was dark and they thought it was robbery. But when they opened the vault the next day, they found two saddlebags containing the money from that train robbery. I guess he figured his name on those saddlebags would tell who the money belonged to. Maybe he welcomed those hangtown bullets. He knew that Pete would run him down no matter which way he headed. Then my pup was not a coward. If I'm ever in Sam Birch's spot, I hope I'll have his courage. That's right, Johnny. Your daddy did one of the bravest things I ever heard of. Anyway, what's the diff? Your Aunt Maggie's here to adopt you, honey, and way back there in New Orleans, nobody ever heard of old Sam Birch. Well, shucks, you could take her name. Joan Thompson. Pat Brady, my name is Johnny Birch, Sam Birch's kid. And remember that, Pat Brady. All right, all right. That's the spirit, Johnny. Yes, Joan. We're not going back to New Orleans. I'm going to move to Mineral City, where I know you've got friends. Your aunt's right, honey. You'll find that being with friends is the greatest happiness you can have. And by going to church and learning about God, you'll learn to put all your problems in his hands. And then it will be easy for you to distinguish between right and wrong. Johnny, here you'll grow up with love.
again. Happy trails.